Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the 2023 China Masters here in beautiful Shenzhen at the Shenzhen Bay Gymnasium. It's where all the action's been taking place this weekend. We are at quarterfinals Friday and this is the second session. This is what it's all about, the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals Trophy. That event now very, very close, uh, just over three weeks away. Also going to be held in China in Hangzhou. Of course, the top eight players from each of the disciplines now pretty much booked in, but uh, who knows, maybe there will be a couple of changes. This is the order of play for session two, this evening session here. We're going to be starting off with an unseeded quarterfinal. It's uh, Nguyen Thi Lin in, from Vietnam taking on the uh, Korean Kim ga the women's singles. That will be followed by the women's doubles, Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara, the six seeds taking on Jong Na Eun and Kim Hai Jong from Korea. Men's singles after that, and this could be an epic clash. Kodai Narioka, the number three seed, taking on HS Pranoy, the number eight seed. And then to close out uh, play on court two, women's doubles. It's Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida, the fifth seeds, taking on the most informed pair in the women's doubles uh, category these days. Beikana and Lee So He, the number two seeds. Now looking at the women's singles draw and how about that it has been dominance from Chinese players moving into the semi-finals there's already an all Chinese semi-final has been booked Wang Ziyi uh, ousting Nozomi Okuhara and Han Yue taking out her compatriot uh, Zhang Yiman earlier today that means two spots left and the winner of this first match we're about to watch will play uh, the winner of the all Chinese quarterfinal Haibing Zhao the number six seed taking on Chen Yufei number third number three seed And just about to kick off now on the three courts here at this evening session and it's going to be a great treat for the gathered fans here of course if you do in fact get an all Chinese semi-final lineup and that could happen I'll we'll have to wait to see what happens right now players just about to enter the arena has been a fantastic week of action so far to bring us up to quarterfinal Friday and we hope you've enjoyed all these matches and it's been some pretty good crowds as well here at the Shenzhen Bay Arena well here they come Nguyen Tui Lin has had a great run taking on Kim Ga this is actually the first time that both these ladies are meeting on court both been in fine form. Now, of course, this is the last qualifying event for the World Tour Finals, and there have been some changes, and that's confirmation of this first meeting between these players. They get on with a coin toss, and unfortunately, both these ladies, Kim Gan, if I recall, is 13th in the rankings, and far off in terms of numbers and uh, Nguyen Thuy Lin is 36th and she's really having a great run ousting of course none other than Carolina Marin in the first round so Kim Gaon 25 years old and all son South Korea at 15 very consistent performer and of late has been adding a little bit more firepower 
incisive attack into her play and it's really worked out well for her as well. Looking for her third semi-final in this, her ninth quarter-final of the year. Of course, picked up a win this year as well at the Korea Masters. This was her run to this quarter-final. Sun Sho Yun in 44 minutes and Aya Hori in 41 minutes hasn't dropped a game yet. It's been a very solid performance from the Korean. And this is Win Tui Lin. 26 years old now, ranked 22. And this is her sixth quarter final, looking for a third semi final. She was a quarter finalist at the recent Arctic Open. She won the Vietnam Open. That's her second win there, in fact. And also called the finalist in US Open, the Canadian Open, and second at the Thai International. And then that's confirmation of it. The number five seed, former multiple world champion, Carolina Marion Alston, 69 minutes. And it was a defensive masterclass, really, from uh, Tui Lin. She did so well to soak up the attack and then came through. Very solidly, in fact, won the praise of uh, Carolina herself. The speaker said that he was just played very, very well. And as for Kim, well, she's quarter finalist at the Asian Games, second at the Australian Open, quarter finalist in Korea, Indonesia, Swiss Open, German Open as well. So. The experience from this year, definitely with Kim Garland. And I think on paper, you'd, with the ranking as well, you'd have to say that she's be the favorite here. But with Tui Lin being in such amazing form, this is gonna be a cracking match to open up the evening session on quarterfinals Friday. Ready to play. About ready to get underway here. So I'm playing for this first match. Show out sheep. And she's joined by our service judge, Lao Chen Dea. Interesting way to open the match for Tui Lin. One love. Deep serve, what? Net court helps. Service She'll over. take it. One and playing into the wind. Slight drift moving up the court as you can see it on your screen. And 
And that's that incisive power Two, play that I was talking one. about. That's a nice return. Service over. Two, all. Oh. 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 She knew what she wanted to do. Just testing out a range Service right over. now. Shot there from Kim Gaon. Both ladies, exceptional shot makers. That's a nice return as well. Just had a little check of the back line there, Kim. So she fired that back. Raced off to a three point lead. Oh, that's a wonderful shot. Oh, Kim Dahan has definitely started the more brightly, but you can just see in the footwork from both ladies that still a few. Starting nerves. Oh, that was a great return. That's high quality Service stuff. Over. Off the start. Sometimes it's just going to take a couple of shots like that. With the attempt and success just to settle those opening nerves. She draws level. Six, Good easy pace so far to these opening 12 points. There from Twilin. Look at the angle on that. Settling into a rhythm, Twilin. Eight, six. And then it 
exchange just getting Nine, more and six. more delicate, smaller and smaller. And Tweelin decides to jump in, intercept that. Just drifted wide. It has so a string of points for Tui Lin, and she's on the brink of the mid game interval lead in this first game. Rally. Net court is enough for her to get that 11 9 lead. It's a great start to this match. side it's asking all the questions and I'm trying to break out of that defensive pattern and you see that really just immediately pushing very nicely a little bit different from match against Marin where she was defending a lot more as relentless attack from Carolina that day this time she's stepped up taking the initiative Service over 10 
Mình thay đổi đường đánh đi, đừng cố định một đường thế. It's a little bit unbalanced, Kim. The back line when she took the shot. Just snatched at it. Close. Not enough. Service over. 11 or 8. 14 and another chance. <laughs> Some of the defense we were talking about, amazing. Great attempt at it. 14. And it was really off that shot just at the early part of the rally where she was caught out of position and then faced a barrage of shots from Kim, but returned them all almost instinctively. Couldn't make the winner though. Tied it up at 14 all. That was exactly the right part of the game for her to tie it up. Good string of points. Oh, I think she expected that second that shot to come back. Clear it to the back court, but it was again snatched at. Him. Oh, they're both warmed up now. Footwork is nice and solid from both ladies and quality of shot as well as you can see is right up there. Oh. 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 That 
could prove costly. 17-16. So she edges ahead, Kim Gaon. As I said at the start of the show, this is the only quarterfinal that will produce a non-Chinese semi-finals. The other three spots, two already filled. Guaranteed, that's the closest the fans are going to get to that clean sweep of the semi-finals. Of course, what it does mean is that that's Guaranteed Chinese player in the final on home soil. And that's a toast for the fans. 18-16. Nice shot there by Kim. Just wrong footed Twilin. She got there late. Just did enough to push her off that shot. And it's a two-point lead, a dangerous part of this first game. Thank you. Too happy with that one. She knew the opportunity that was sitting there. Oh, that's well left. So closing in, Service two points over. away from this first game. Wouldn't be the end of the world for Twilin if she loses this first game. I fully expected this to go to three. Just the skill level of both. Oh, that's a nice pick up by Kim. Oh, the net court decides it. Service over 18 <laughs> Sharp and incisive, both players looking to get on the attack whenever they can. And it's game point, two of them in fact, for Kim Gaon. Close was that into acres of space on the right side. It's a mistake, and 
It's handed Kimbell in the first game, 21-19. a smashing start to this quarterfinal. Strategic, tactical. Second game, love all. Not that many unforced errors, a few, but Play. certainly outweighed by some quality winners. Some now playing into the drift. Recalibrate himself. Extra bit of breeze. And as you can see, she's got the ability to really fire into backcourt now. Just going for Service too long. Over. Nice kill two, by Kim. to say that we're in probably guilty of a couple more not that many Kim has been very solid Into 
interception. Incisive play. And in no way was she not playing like that for most of her career, but this year especially, she's stepped up and is just a little bit more aggressive, just the right parts of the game. Seven over. Four, and it's been five. a great number two and teammate to, of course, the wonderful achievements of Ansa Young. Currently coming back from injury, and Kim herself, in terms of team achievements, gold medalist at the Asian Games last year. Silver medalist at the Asia Team Championships in 2020. I was on hand in Manila to see her do her bit for the team there. And let's not forget, of course, double medalists at the Sudirman Cup 2021 and this year. That's bronze and silver. That's how reliable a player she is. This year it was a runner-up, the Australian Open. I remember, she was really getting to quarter-final stage before then, and that was topped off by a Super 300 win, Korean Masters against Mocha. Exactly. A nice winner there as well. So in terms of control of this match, it's ebbed and it's flowed. But now, Tim Gaian seems to have more of a grip on it. Really, now that she's got that first game, moving her opponent very well in that point. Seven, the question is, what can Lin Tui Lin do to break that rhythm, regain control, and start racking up a good run of points? What she's going to need if she's going to have to take this second game, take it to three. Right now, though, I have to say, Kim Garland doing just enough that you feel that she could. She just keeps playing at this intensity. Take this game as well. Let's see what Tweelin can do. Not that long, and it's a three-point lead. Pulled in. Nine, Ambitious shot. Oh. Maybe an hour, a bit of variance on it. And that too. Ten, so, five. second mid game interval just around the corner. And it's five point run for Kim Gaian. Footed Kim there, she was off balance. Service over six ten. for Tweelin, a couple of mistakes to capitalize on. So, 11 7, nice little drop into the right side. Kim Garn looking good here. 
Ý Đánh vào khu hoàn cổ Thầy mình cảm giác như thế Mình đã hay Không đương nhiên Nghĩ như là tôi bây giờ cố gắng Cố gắng đánh Cố gắng đi chỉ những cái điểm đánh của mình Đánh, đánh an toàn một chút nữa đừng mọi người cũng như cái độ chính xác của mình nó 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 không cao nữa rồi kiểm soát người ta sẽ đẩy góc sau của em nhiều hơn người ta không đánh lưới em nhiều đâu người ta chủ động người ta đẩy hạt góc sau em nhiều Enough. She had to make sure the extra two shots in that rally just to cement that point. Important point too. just yet but it's certainly getting dangerous five point leads one game up Kim Gaon is going to be growing in confidence here <laughs> how did she manage to get that she never gives up Considering where she took that shot, it's actually a great return. And obviously, came back too high and finished off well. 9.13 on serve. She's going to tie it up at 13. This is a very good opportunity to do it. First one, so straight 14, at the feet, nine. and that came back. This one, it's a great return, but and the reply is sublime. Great pick up by Kim. What a shot that was! Just stroke the top of the net. Things getting increasingly more urgent for and tweel in. Oh. And that's when the deception comes in. Just saw that we end looking over at her coach, and if body language is anything to go by, she's beginning to feel that pressure. Backhand kill from Kim Gaon. It's 17-9, and I think this one might be a bridge too far now for the Vietnamese star. Had a great run this week, not just against Carolina Marion, but also against Kiasfeld.
of back. Remember the winner of this match playing either Peeping Zhao or Chen Yufei. That's going to be a tough challenge as it is. Great technique. Just makes it look easy sometimes. Thirty six minutes they've been on court. And again, just one foot wheel in. Two points away from the semi-finals. And now Kim Garn is just picking her spot. Match points. Well, certainly not the best performance we've seen from Twilin. I think that was in that first round match. Ten match points. That's out. She gets it. 21 19, 21 10, 37 minutes. And Kim Garland through to her third semi final of the year. In the end, it was just too many unforced errors, I think, that made the difference. But you couple that with some clinical winners. And Kim Garland. Has come through solidly there. So one in and the head to head, that was the first meeting between them. There's confirmation of it 21 19, 21 10, and Kim Gaon and Korea through to the semi finals.